what's up I'm Allie and welcome back to my YouTube channel um, today I am going to be talking about heels and what makes a heel a competition heel as well as what it should look like on your own foot so it's really just personal preference but there is a logistic to it as well first let's just talk about what makes a heel a competition heel as long as you're walking comfortably, um, the fit is definitely up to you. Um, but what makes a competition heel a competition heel? These are the heels that I'll be wearing for my competition. As you can see, hopefully it focuses. As you can see, it is a clear sandal as well as a clear bottom. And this is really important because if you don't have a clear shoe, it takes away from what the judges see on your body. That brings me to my next point, is you don't want this heel to be completely dazzled out and take away from the attention of your body when you're on the stage. Um, because it will draw the judge's attention to your foot so here's my competition heel, as you can see, hopefully. So there it is. As you can see, I'll be having a strap on my heel. So what I have noticed is that there is controversy between a no strap heel and a shoe with straps. Um, so the thing about the no strap heel uh, people say that it's way better because it doesn't have a strap around the ankle um, and it doesn't take away from your f your legs basically. So what they're trying to say is that with a no strap heel your legs look a lot longer um, which may be true but how big of a difference is it? Um, <clears throat> So that's the no strap heel and I can tell you right now I cannot walk in these. Um, I could pose in these just fine but when I'm walking it looks like I'm gonna fall over. It has no stability around the ankle and it's actually very uncomfortable for me. Same with, I don't really know if you could see but these have like this crazy curve. I don't really know. So. Yeah, so I'm going to hold these up straight and you can see that the ankles, they go into the middle. So these are actually very dangerous <laughs> for me. Um, I can't walk in these at all whatsoever, but I mean someone else might be able to. So the thing about the strap is that they say that it takes away from how long your legs look. but if you feel more comfortable with the strap, you're gonna look more confident. And I think that if you are more confident, it really doesn't matter if you are wearing a strap. I would rather look very great walking on stage and having this little strap there, rather than risking it wearing these and tripping and falling and my shoe come off or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's really personal preference. There isn't a rule about straps at all. So here's the one with the strap. Um, so I prefer walking with this heel because it is way more comfortable, way more safe for me, 100%. And also this one, I find myself falling literally everywhere. Um, so I have these for my photo shoot. You don't want the platform of your shoe to be too high because it does make your leg short. Um, so I would say maybe this should be like the highest platform that you should buy. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. Next we're going to talk about the fit. Now, 
I think both of these heels don't have mid sizes, so if you're seven and a half um, or an eight and a half, they won't have your size. So I definitely recommend that you size down. And I say that because on your show day, you don't know if you're gonna lose some in your feet. Um, and also you don't want your heel hanging off of the shoe. Um, I'm gonna insert a photo here. Um, don't get a heel too big. You look like you're a 10 year old in your mom's shoes. Um, that's all I have to say. So don't do this, don't. <laughs> that's all I have for you guys today. Um, just make sure you are comfortable on stage. That's a really important factor because it doesn't matter if you have a strap or no strap. If you have no strap and you fall on your face, you're going, it's, your results are going to be worse than having a strap and maybe your legs looking like a little bit shorter, which in most cases isn't necessarily true. Um, so yeah, make sure you pick a shoe that's comfortable for you. Um, I will leave links to buy these shoes on Amazon if you're interested. Um, if you're the type of person to be fine with any kind of heel, you go for it girl. Get those no straps. But in most cases, definitely get the strap heel because it will save your life, honestly. Um, it's really not really different, just the strap. Um, and these are way more comfortable, they have like that cushion. So that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you like, subscribe, and check out all my social medias, it means the world to me. Um, and have a great day, until next time.